Dear students, welcome to the world of Crack Academy. So this is a very useful video if you are preparing for SSC, Bank PO, CLAT, UPSC, CAT, so any aptitude based exam, this is an amazing video, right? So today I'm going to discuss number system, right? A lot of time I realize that people are not even aware of basics of numbers. So this is a video which would give you a reflection of what exactly are numbers, right? So first, what are natural numbers? One, two, three, four till infinity. Now most of you confuse it with one to infinity. No, all counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So when I say counting numbers, I want to ask you, how many dogs do you have? Four dogs. How many toffees you have? 10 toffees. So we can't talk about fractions, we can't talk about decimals, right? So zero is not included in number systems, right? And then comes whole numbers. So the thought, there has to be a representation for something that does not exist. You had five toffees, so you ate all the toffees. So how many toffees are left? None. So there has to be a representation for none. So zero is the representation for none. So full numbers, zero, one, two, three, four till infinity, right? So basically number system has begun with counting numbers and then the extension scale, right? So you needed something that represents nothing, zero, all right? So zero was invented by the great Indian scientist. My question to you is, can you name that scientist please right so then comes integers right it is minus three minus two minus one zero one two three four till infinity now you also realize we needed counting numbers we needed whole numbers because zero was required then we needed negatives negatives of natural numbers so please never ever say that integers are from minus infinity to infinity. No, negative numbers, negative images of natural numbers would be far, far better because fractions and decimals and negative are not included. So I'm very clear on this part for first three categories. No fractions, no decimals, right? This is really, really important. All right. So now you understand we needed counting. When we started settling down as a human civilization, we needed counting. I need four. I have four horses. I have six cows. The flood came. All the six cows were swept away. I needed a zero. Whole numbers. So what happened is that I had four horses. I bet six horses and I lost the bet. So how many horses do I have now? <laughs> I had four, I bet six. Now I have minus two. So integers were required. After integers, then we come to rational. So what are rational numbers? Most of you know it. Rational number the form P upon Q where Q is not equal to zero. P and Q belong to integers and HCF hcf of p and q is one right so sir what is the meaning of this we know this decimal uh, definition since ages isn't it p upon q q not equal to zero anything divided by zero is indeterminate please as infinity right indeterminate cannot be determined right P and Q belong to integers, fractions can be negative, fractions can be negative and HCF of P and Q is 1 because whenever you write a fraction there should not be common factor between denominator and numerator right, there should not be any common factor meaning since childhood we have never written our answer as 5 by 15. We have written as, as 1 by 3, cancelling of the common factors, right? So this is now introducing decimals or fractions, right? So my question to all of you, again, 
See, I have put one question. I hope I get a reply to that question. Now, my question to you is, is every integer a rational or every rational an integer, right? So, guys, come on. Most of us know that first three categories do not have any fractions. So, rational cannot be integer. Every integer is a rational number. For example, if I pick an integer minus 5, minus 5 can be written as minus 5 upon 1. Number in the term of P upon Q. Yes, sir, every integer is a rational number. That's the reason most of the time we compare number system with solar system also. We'll talk about that, right? Then comes irrational. As the name suggests, what are irrational numbers? Right? Not rational. Irrational are not rational. Sir, understand if it is written illiterate, definitely not literate. But how am I going to recognize it? Isn't it? That's a real important aspect. Is to recognize kaise karna hai, hai na? Ye to chahiye apne ko, right? So, or, or numbers that cannot be written in term of P upon Q. So, I'm writing cannot be written in terms of P upon Q. But, sir, how do we know? How do we know? that what are those numbers right so for that you know i'll write irrational numbers as decimals that are non terminating and non recurring i think this does make a beautiful sense decimals that are non terminating and non recurring right now see the blackboard should always be like this when we are talking about mathematics right so <clears throat> sir what do you mean by this so i would say if you write a number like this 0 0.365 bar this is 0 0.365665 till infinity this is non terminating yes sir it does not end this is non terminating but it is recurring yes sir 656565 five, five is being repeated again and again and again. So, this is not an irrational number. This is a rational number. So, now keep this thing in mind. Any number with a bar is a rational number. So, what is a rational number like this? 0 0.65032119798766347979 and so on. This keeps on going and going and going. Non-terminating because it keeps on going and going and going. Non-recurring because there is no regular pattern of recurrence. This is your irrational. So examples of irrational, they found out root of 2, root of 3, root of 5, root of 7, pi. Now the approximate value of pi is 22 by 7. It is not an exact value, right? Similarly, E, exponential, if you are from mass background, you know what is E. Again, it is a non-terminating, non-recurring decimal, all right? And keep this thing in mind, these are numbers that exist. And if I write any number like this, it does exist, then it's an irrational number, right? And after that comes real. So, what are real numbers? All numbers, minus infinity to infinity. So, you should not write integers as minus infinity to infinity. Or I say, what are real numbers? Rational plus irrational. Right? These are real numbers. So, if you say example, all I can say is, guys, just pay attention. This is a set of natural numbers and natural numbers is contained in whole numbers because whole numbers have one more element which is zero, right? And integers definitely contain whole numbers because integers had all natural numbers, zero and negative of natural numbers. And we thought and said all integers are rational, rational and irrational are different and once you add them together this gives you real 
so guys get real <laughs> really really important to know what exactly is number system because whole aptitude based exams are based on basics of number system my greetings to all of you see you in the next video till that i am hope you are having great time jai hind to all of you